It's a middleweight matchup between Michael Bisping and Vanderlei Silva. Well, no longer just a Muay Thai practitioner, he has become one of the better strikers in this division. And he does not discriminate, champ, whether it's kicks, knees, punches, elbows, he throws the kitchen sink your way. Oh yeah, he's throwing everything at you and he comes in that classic Muay Thai stance. He's really high on the toes. He's moving up and down that back. He's always bouncing. Just letting you know, if you try to attack him, he will load that knee up and he will hit you. And the moment he drives that knee into your midsection, when you start to back up, you gotta watch the right elbow coming over the top. And when you fade, he will grab you in that Muay Thai but he'll start to shift position, drive knees into the body, knees into the, into the legs. It's just, it's just constant brutality. This is one of the most dominant and most aggressive forms of striking in the UFC. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Bisping is three years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 35 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the Ex-Murderer, Wanderlei Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holy a professional record of 31 wins, 9 losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England! Ladies and gentlemen, an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael Macau Bisbee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Right hand punch with clinch. Good stick. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Flush right hand is true. Oh! He needs to 
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu jitsu much. You just lie to your class. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but still. Oh, it looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's a tough armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Looks like it did stun a little bit. What a oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big knee. Played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Michael the Count is all right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. It's all finished, Colonel. Well, I'm your friend, Johnny. It's weak. Can't put it out of my mind. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. The former AAA driver, the Black Beast, Houston's finest, Derek Lewis. He has really vaulted to UFC stardom, Joe, and 
Certainly has the personality to go with the power, strong as an ox. He's more conditioned than you might think, and he is definitely on a mission to become the baddest man on the planet. Derek Lewis, well on his way as he gets ready for another big spot tonight. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been, but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Lewis is five years the elder. The rest is roughly identical. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Pergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 44 wins, 27 losses, and one no contest. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, two losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. Mr. Untouchable. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. All right, here is the... Oh, oh he nailed him! The kick lands, he's hurt, he's down. Oh! Misses again with a right punch.
beautiful right hand by the champion. Big body punch. Into half guard again. Three minutes in our opening round. that shin. Staying busy here on the clinch. Big power shot there. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. position here. Now he's moved back into full guard. Good shot to the body. And here another big shot lands, and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands, and another knockdown. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. Now, next round, I want you to finish him, okay? He's hurt. I know he's hurt. You know he's hurt. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. All right, round two. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. He's out, he's out, he's out. Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. Let's see this again. Watch this again here. I mean, just stiff. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. The official and decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. At 23 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and still. with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO, and that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.